This is a really challenging overlapping sets question. What makes it so challenging is you've got your favorable, not favorable, and not sure as three distinct categories, but you need to think about it as just two categories in order to solve this question. And the categories should be either, yes, I found him favorable or the opposite of that. And then do that for each candidate separately. So you've got M, not M, and that not M would include within it two categories. It includes the not favorable and the not sure. And then similarly, you'll have N and not N. And again, not N includes within it not favorable and not sure. This is the way we're going to have to digest the information so that we can solve the question using a Carroll diagram. So I think the most challenging aspect of this question is getting the diagram right. Now we can start filling in the numbers. So the total number of people who found M favorable is 40 and the rest would be 60 for a total of 100. And then for N, the number of people who found N favorable is 30, the rest is 70, and the total is 100. Now the question wants to know the number of people who found both candidates favorable, so we're looking for that both and cell, that's the top left cell in our diagram. And looking at this diagram, it seems that there are just three unknown cells, in addition to the one they're asking about. So we don't know the neither nor, but we also don't know the M not N, and n not m. But if we are given any one of those three cells, we would have a path to infer the both and cell. In the case of statement one, it does give us one of those three cells. It gives us the neither nor cell, so with two steps we can find what they're asking for. The total number of people who found both candidates favorable is 10. So we can see here that statement one is sufficient on its own and we can eliminate answer choices B, C, and E. Now statement two talks about just the number of people who thought that candidates were unfavorable, but we don't know how to digest that in the context of the people who were not sure. Right? We, in order to solve this question, we kind of decided to think of not favorable and not sure as one category. And the minute you start separating it into two distinct categories and only give us information about one of them, well, now all bets are off because, okay, so I know how many find them not favorable, but how many are not sure? I have no idea. And if I don't know that, then there's no way for me to infer anything about the number of people who find them favorable. So statement two is not sufficient on its own. And the correct answer here is A. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.